there could come a time very soon that it becomes too late to do any prevention. We saw this in Italy where they, you know, they, the plane went down and they had to brace for impact. They had to decide, you know, which patients to save and which ones to let die. Imagine doctors having to make that kind of decision. Nine Health medical expert Dr. Pyle Coley says it could happen if we don't act fast. She says New York is preparing for the worst this week as the new epicenter of our country's pandemic. But for us here in Colorado, we have a few days to turn this around. We have a few days to prevent our plane from going down and having to brace for impact and overwhelming our hospital system. A group of health experts and engineers from across the country recently created covidactnow.org. It projects how fast each state's hospitals will become overwhelmed. According to this projection, if Coloradans were to do nothing, business as usual, hospitals would reach capacity early next week and peak around April 20th with 126,000 COVID hospitalizations. If Colorado commits to three months of social distancing. Hospitals become overloaded in the second week of April, eventually peaking at 50,000 hospitalizations. But the projections also show if all Coloradans commit to a shelter in place for three months, hospitals never overload. This model estimates social distancing alone will lead to more than 70% of Coloradans becoming infected. A shelter in place brings that number down to 9%. And if we lock down for three months like Wuhan, China, it's predicted that less than 1% of Coloradans would become infected. I think we have to be careful with this model because this model is not necessarily projecting absolute numbers, but it's projecting the overall shape of the curve and the trajectory and where it's headed. The model's creators and Coley stress that there's nothing Nothing certain about these numbers. What they do seem confident in is the three month trajectory based on what's happened in other countries. And they agree that we have days, not weeks, to act, to stay home, away from others, for the sake of our hospitals and our country. In Denver, Ryan Herrer, 9 News.